clarifications. Mr. Kok Heng Lun. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the second minister for the reply. I mean, on the SEPs. Uh, I'm glad to hear that uh, you're looking for the insurance for prolonged medical leave. I'd like to speak on behalf of uh, a lot of the dance community who actually go to schools and CCs to uh, teach. And uh, they are qu quite a lot of times susceptible to injuries. So I hope that this group can be included in it. And secondly, also the stage technicians who actually would work both indoors and outdoors in events. And uh, there's a lot of possibility of casualties during the process. Uh, and I hope that it can also be included. And the third thing is a uh, third question I want to uh, direct it to uh, MOS Sam Tan. Uh, with regards to uh, my questions about previously, uh, the ministry has agreed to actually do to check on how the Korean has been recruiting the uh, foreign workers. I would like to have an update on uh, whether that was actually uh, followed through and if it has, uh, the ministry has, uh, what was the outcome? Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to thank uh, the member for uh, sharing his concerns about um, the dance community as well as the stage technicians. We would certainly be very keen to get in touch with uh, the associations that they belong to and to explore ways in which we can promote uh, the adoption of uh, prolonged medical leave insurance as a norm for uh, their occupations. Well, I thank the member for the inquiry on the uh, status of the uh, studies on the uh, South Korea's recruitment uh, you know, uh, systems. Yes, MOM has actually studied the uh, South Korea system. Essentially, under the uh, South Korean model, the government becomes an employer for the uh, foreign workers. And uh, based on our experience, I don't think this would be practical for the Singapore situation because we have far greater number of foreign workers in Singapore. One third or 1.1 million of our workers actually are foreign workers. So uh, it is not uh, feasible for the government to be a surrogate employer for all this big group of uh, foreign workers. So after very thorough studies, we don't think the uh, South Korean model is something that can be adopted in Singapore effectively because of all this. And on the other hand, the uh, South Korea's model actually does not, cannot guarantee that the source country where the uh, foreign workers are imported would take you know, prudent measures or effective measures to protect the uh, foreign workers from being exploited by the middlemen in the source country. So even though if under the South Korea system, the government can do something to protect the interests of the foreign workers in South Korea, but it doesn't have the jurisdictions to do something at the source country. And in Singapore, we have actually put in place many measures to protect the interests of our foreign workers. We have, you know, legislated an act, a foreign manpower act, to protect the uh, rights of the uh, foreign workers. And we also set up many VW, or we work with many VWOs to uh, help the uh, foreign workers. And lastly, we have also been actively engaging the uh, foreign embassies where they have uh, foreign workers in, uh, working in Singapore to make sure from time to time, if there are issues concerning the uh, well-being of the uh, foreign workers, that we can actually take up with the foreign embassies and ask them to uh, pay attention on the treatments to their foreign workers within their own source country. So all in all, we have studied this. And uh, with due respect, well, it is uh, something that it is still quite new in uh, South Korea, but we don't think that it would be uh, practical for us to implement the same approach or same uh, system in Singapore.